Hello everyone, welcome to my channel NT Automation. Today we're gonna teach you more about bots and uh, automation. So there's a friend in my Discord server. He said, Hey dude, may I know how did you change a bot name on Discord? It would be awesome if you could make a video out of it as well. So basically, he said, How do you, you customize your bot in Discord server? by using your own pictures and your own name so it's very easy i'm gonna show you how to do it first you're gonna go to your discord server for example i have one discord server specifically made for this channel called inti automation if you want to join you can click link uh, in the comment section in the discord server i have a uh, general bots questions latest videos and the RSS feed. What is RSS feed? The last video already teach teach you guys how to do RSS feed right here. And uh, what is make bots right here. So first, I'm gonna go to the Discord. Let's see. You wanna set up a bot in the general. And uh, right here, there's a button called the Edit Channel. Let's click it. In the Edit Channel, right here, you're gonna find the integration. Click it. In integration, you're gonna see web hook. You click webhook probably looks like this so you create the webhook that's like a discord bot your assistant so you choose your name of this bot you customize say hey hey uh, let's see inti my name is inti this bot's name is also and uh, where do you wanna send a message let this bot we gonna you're gonna choose general bots questions you're gonna choose so i'm gonna choose general and what picture you want to change? It's very easy. Just click here and uh, you go to your, you're going to go to your own uh, album. You choose any picture. Let's see. We choose no communist. Now my bot's picture, it looks like this. And the bot's name is Inti. And this bot sent a message to the, gonna go to the general tag. Just save, change. And this bot need receive message. You're gonna copy webhook URL. What is webhook? You don't have to know what is webhook. You just click it. Webhook just a restaurant server, uh, which is your bot. You s the, the bot gonna serve you. So this bot need a message, data. And we already copied this webhook. Now we're gonna set up bot in the make. So you open your make and uh, right here, create a new scenario. In the new scenario, for example, you want to send a Twitter uh, to your Discord server or RSS feed or Facebook, or whatever data you want to send, you have to click here. Let's see, Twitter. For example, I want to watch anyone's tweets or searching results or whatever. Let's see, watch tweet. I'm going to watch my own tweet. I already uh, already teach you guys how to do a Twitter bot, so I don't want to repeat. You're gonna, you can go to my uh, page to check if you don't know how to make a make bot. So right now, uh, I have a Twitter. Let's see. I want to watch my own tweets. Just one tweet each uh, uh, every time. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to have a data. This data, I want to send to my Discord. My Discord server, I already have a webhook, which is from right here. We already copied. And I'm going to do what? Let's see. HTTP. Because HTTP is like, we're going to send the data. HTTP, make a request, which means I'm going to send the data. What data you want to send? I want to send to which URL? I want to send paste, which is Discord webhook, this URL. What I'm going to do? I'm going to do post. So this is a kind of API. You don't have to know. You just uh, follow my uh, instruction. So what method? Post. Header, we don't need to choose. Query string, we don't need to choose. Body type, we're going to choose body type to uh second one application slash xww and what field which is the data we're going to click this add item in add out item key we just see content and the value is very important right here you just click value you're going to put uh the twitter see when you click value right section the pop out twitter already sent so many data for us like twitter id text so normally we need a Twitter text. Just click Twitter text. That's it. Later on, if you want to send more data, you can add here. But today, I don't want to make it too complicated. And uh, 
parse response? Yes, because we want this bot uh, to parse our response and uh, just choose yes. We don't have to know because you are not IT engineer. If you are IT engineer, if you want to know more, you can talk to me uh, in my server. Maybe next time I'm going to uh, teach you more. But today we just do this. See, okay. Yeah, that's it. Let's run once. See? Da -dum. That is this word. Uh, let's go to here. See, my bot sent this tweet right here uh, with my tweet text and the tweet link. And my bot's name is Inti. And my bot picture is this anti-communist sign right here. See? That's how you do it. It's very easy. And uh, of course, you can delete this Twitter and you can add RSS feed. Last time I teach you RSS feed to get news feed and you just watch RSS feed items and you put the RSS URL and see here. And right here, you have to change your data. The value, you have to change to, uh, change to RSS after setup. And here you can change whatever data you're from. So this is your webhook. Let's recap the URL from your uh, Discord server. Method post data and the body type, this one, and the key is content value. You have to change whatever the value from the left side of the application. And the parse response, yes. Okay, and that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please let me know. And especially like this friend right here, he said, you dude, may I know how did you change your bot name on Discord? I think he's gonna know exactly how to do it right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna put all the links below. You can click each step. Enjoy automation.